Hi, my name is Johan Lafitte, and I'm a master's student in Professor Bonnie Gray's Microinstrumentation Lab at Simon Fraser University. And welcome to my presentation on a screen printable polyaniline composite for pH sensing applications. Our group has been working on making wearable devices like ECG electrodes and microfluidic channels uh, integrated onto clothing or textiles. And as a next step, we've started looking into making wearable biosensors. Uh, naturally, we looked at sweat as a means for non-invasive collection of information, given its ease of accessibility and uh, direct contact with uh, textiles. So the monitoring of skin pH has some important implications for things like sports medicine and hydration monitoring, uh, as well as for things like skin disorders, such as dermatitis or eczema, and also for wound healing. Um, the pH of our skin plays a vital part in allowing our cells to function properly and maintaining their skin barrier properties. Um, and in the case of wound healing, sustained increases in the local skin pH tend to indicate the presence of infection. Uh, these graphs to the left of me uh, show the difference in pH for normal versus uh, chronic wounds. Overall, the monitoring of chronic wounds has been reported to cost about $20 billion in the US alone uh, on a yearly basis. And dermatitis reportedly affects about 32 million people in the US, so just shy of Canada's entire population. Uh, so these are issues that obviously still need to be addressed. So our solution uh, was to make a fully screen printable polyaniline composite uh, for pH sensing applications. Uh, polyaniline is a semiconducting polymer uh, whose conductivity is affected by its degree of protonation. Uh, which makes it an ideal material for uh, use as a pH sensor. By mixing polyaniline with uh, dodecyl benzene sulfonic acid, which acts as a dopant and a plasticizer, uh, into a commercially available screen printing ink, uh, we're able to obtain uh, an ink paste that we can uh, print directly onto textiles. So uh, we tried a few different formulations, increasing the uh, polyaniline weight percentage and found a percolation threshold of about 20% weight uh, where the resistivity uh, decreased dramatically. Um, above about 35% weight, we start to see a decrease in the mechanical properties of the print. So there is a trade-off to be made there between the overall print quality and the uh, conductivity or sensor response. Um, then using our our optimized uh, polyaniline composite formulation, which was about 30% weight. Uh, we then proceeded to screen print it as the working electrode of a two electrode uh, configuration uh, next to a silver silver chloride reference electrode. Uh, this was done so we could measure its page response. Um, so here we just show the order of the screen printed layers, which were manually screen printed uh, by pulling the ink over a patterned adhesive sheet, which was cut out using a laser cutter. So um, yeah, we then proceeded to measure the pH response by recording the open circuit potential, um, changing the pH by manually switching the solution it was soaking in. And we can see that the composite obtained a pretty strong response of about 28 millivolts per pH with a linear range between three and 10 uh, and a response within several minutes. So um, we also compared this uh, response to that of pure polyaniline films, which were either electropolymerized or drop cast onto a carbon working electrode of a similar, um, similar design. And the composite, although it did show a slightly uh, slower response and less sensitive response, um, could be made using a simple printing process from start to finish. So uh, this was kind of the goal of our project. In conclusion, uh, we were able to make a fully screen printable pH sensor, which showed higher sensitivity than existing uh, screen printable pH sensors, but was also flexible. Um, and as next steps, we'd like to do further uh, characterization of the flexibility and as well as integrate it into uh, textile or microfluidic channels as part of a device and uh, also do some further characterization on rheology and viscosity so that we can actually screen print it uh, using an automated screen printer. So um, with that, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of the conference.